Hi, so what I have here is the Coolertron USB digital microscope and it is the 800X model. And let me show you how to assemble this. At first, I'll show you the parts here. So this is the main lens and camera. And as you can see, there is a 40X here and an 800X. And the way to operate this, you can see the camera focusing as I adjust this. So that's how this mechanism works and it goes into that holder right there and I'll show you how to assemble that later. It comes with a USB camera here with the LED light brightness adjustments. So as you can see I could scroll here and adjust the brightness of the camera itself. Now the camera does come with a button here to take a snapshot picture. And I will show you that later after I've assembled this. So the other parts that it comes with is a CD. Now, if you don't have a DVD drive, you can download this in the description area of this video. I have a zip file of the drivers and software that you could download straight from my uh, description area of this video. This is the base. And it's a, you know, it's a plastic base here with slide holders. And this thing does rotate, as you can see, it rotates. And the base itself is uh, fairly simple. This is the vertical up and down, and this is the primary holder of the camera. And keep in mind that this is the upright position. So I will be slipping this in. So let me go ahead and assemble this. As you can see, there are a couple of knobs. Make sure to loosen this knob such that this tube can fit in. So I'm gonna fit in the tube here. And so this tube will actually control the vertical axes. So let me go ahead and slip that in. As you can see, I could slip it in now. And you could see, you could control the vertical axes and tighten it using this knob. So once that tightened, it holds it in place. Now this slit here holds the camera wiring in place. So that's what this particular slit is here for. And you want it in this particular position because what you would be doing is actually resting the camera like this and I will demo the actual software uh, in a second after I've assembled this. So, you know, this is already partially assembled. As you can see, with this mechanism, I could adjust the focus by turning this and moving it up and down. So that fur further adjusts the focus and actually the, the vertical as well as this knob, which directly allows you to move this camera base up and down through the, throughout this tube. Now to attach it to the base, you simply turn this loose. So I'm gonna turn the base loose here. And now I could insert this tube into this base and simply tighten it by turning it clockwise. So now I have the camera itself in place, and that was a quick assembly here. So let me adjust it. And now I am going to rest the camera wire up, up against this here. And plug it in. So I'm going to plug this into my computer now. Now it also comes with this measurement template. So it gives you a relative, you know, measurements here. And let me go ahead now and plug it into my computer and show you the operations of this USB microscope. So what I have here now is the Microsoft scope all set up and plugged into the computer. And the first thing you really want to do is remove the lens cap. So this is a protective cap here and there is a notch as you can see 
you, you want to put your fingernails around and remove this lens cap which is a protective covering for that otherwise you're gonna have an obscured view and once you've done that you can put the camera into the rest position and adjust these knobs up and down for the focus now the first thing you might want to do is adjust the lighting so you you as you can see you, you ha could have you know, the, the lighting here and if you want to adjust the knobs moving this up and down after you've loosen this to for the appropriate height you could fine-tune the knob by turning it and further focusing using this here so you, you could further focus the picture as you're watching the computer so that's how you do your fine-tune adjustments now let me show you you know some this chip here and how it looks right on the microscope. So I've installed the driver software here and it has a camera app on my desktop. So what I'm gonna do is open up the camera app which is what I have on the desktop here. So let me go ahead and put this underneath. And as you can see, now you could see the numbers. And let me expand this so you could see a little bit better. So you, you could see here some of the details. Now I might want to adjust the lighting. So as you can see with the lighting here on the USB switch, I can adjust the lighting by increasing the brightness of the LEDs. And you could see now the details of the circuit here. Now I did adjust the focus and also the zoom by moving these things vertically up so as you, as you can see here as I move it vertically up I lose focus and as I turn this down here this knob down I am focusing a very clear picture and I can move it around and, and you can really see like all, all of the detailed circuitry here as well as even some of the micro scratches right on the chip itself it's it's very hard to see on camera but there is these micro micro scratches there but this is the resolution of the camera itself so another example I wanted to show is this bug in this cup here. So as you can see on the camera, right on the laptop, there is a bug here focused in. So let me show you the bug in the cup. And you could get an idea of exactly what you're looking at here and the zoom level. So let me go ahead and loosen this up and push this all the way up. You could see now it's out of focus. And I'll take the camera here over so I could show you the bug in a cup and it is really a small bug there and how much it zoomed in on the screen previously uh, but that's really what I want to show as far as the resolution of this camera and I hope this helps and please subscribe and thank you for watching